Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, after five choppy days, the market has finally bottoming out, that is at present, from that 66.80 level. There is bullish divergence as well. That's evident from the rejection on Friday from this region and also with the indicator possibly gaining maybe from this level and keep an eye on this at 66 80 85 may see another upside challenge and if so look towards the region of 67 35 45 a close above there will give further indication to a rally back to around 68 cents but at present it does seem like the uh, the bears are winning the challenge at the moment but with the divergence let's see if we can get another kick from that bottom side of the range and look back to the top side as the dollar index which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies is consolidating for the battle last three days around 109.60 also tomorrow keep an eye out for the rba monetary minutes and along with that we've still got the, the key driver for this week which is the u.s federal reserve rate decision with an expected 75 basis point rate hike the outlook for euro, what the market still holds to a relatively firm case, even though we have seen a slightly weaker day. But this bullish outside range day, I would like to see a little bit more confliction, that is, from these indicators to support a bullish case and therefore see a rise towards that top side or the downtrend, which is around 10070 to about 10115. Looking at the downside, the base comes in around 9880. And it should continue to hold in light of the current technical pattern. A weaker play from dollar yen since that rejection from 145, but breaking just through this trend line would need a little bit more confirmation. And if the two can marry up, that is the RSI and the MACD, then that would give further evidence to a pull towards the 141 area with the base holding at 139 and a half. The sterling is still relatively weak, and the call at the moment since that rejection of the 115 area is down towards 111 to 113 as a potential target. This week all lies on the Super Thursday when the Bank of England is expected to raise rates by 50 base points. So it looks like the market will be keeping a close watch there along with the Swiss National Bank who's also looking to hike rates by 50 base points. But the Bank of Japan's interest rate decision like to see keep on hold. Wrapping up with gold and oil, the market is still a little bit whipsawed as it, since the break of 1,680. We've seen a brief test back to that top side of the range, but we do need to see a close above 1,682 to support the bullish case. And while we're seeing or continue to see negative indicators, then the risk is still towards 1,600. 36 to about 42 as a potential target. Wrap it up with oil. Well, the market rejected that topside 88 region and now puts further pressure as the bears are looking towards this challenge. I believe at $81 and reassess from there with 78 beneath. Well, that wraps it for the day. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, grab the intro port and I hope you enjoy the great start to the new week.